Taraka Nidhi is one of the counties that still continue practicing the outdated culture of female genital mutilation. <laughs> Taraka, a semi-arid area with a population of approximately 3,056 people, majority of the victims are young girls between the age of 10 to 15 years old. Huku, watu wenye uwa na afektiwa, uwa kutoka miaka kumi na tano. Wenye uwa wana force kufanya okitu ni wazazi ama parafikiza wenye mekitiri. Evans Njero is the founder of Compassion CBO, a group that organizes anti-FGM campaign in villages and schools across the country. We are moving from one village to another, telling people to stop uh, cutting or mutilating girls. Because when girls are mutilated, they get uh, traumatized, they are not able to continue their education, and also they suffer from stigma. Uh, they feel low within themselves. Most of the time they are not even active in social activities. This cutting is extremely painful and results in numerous negative health consequences that last for decades. Hata saa hisi ni kifikiria mi nasikia uchungu. Kufikiria tu kufikiria kwa mwili. Nasikia uchungu. Fitu hivira walitumia, hawa kutumia wembe. Walitumia kitu ingine ino inawitu, unasikia basta kikita. Kinafanana kama, si unaona vira choka inakanga. Hino inapasiwanga kuni. Hawa ni kandoko sana. Na kanakuwa very sharp. Nikianza kuna mwingine na kuna mwingine sasa tunaweza kutawalisha kuwa watu waine. Na siku hiyo kuna hakuwa na hii magonjwa iko iko huko saa hii. Hakuwa na mikoma magonjwa hii. Kama saa hii kwa uko ugonjwa mwingi sana. Na nisiwezi nikaambia mtoto ama yoyote afanye hivyo. Despite FGM being illegal in Kenya, it is still active in many areas and 50% of Kenyan women have undergone female genital mutilation. Katika sehemu yaza tukiteremuka chini hapa tharaka, tunakuta kuna jami nyingi, watoto wengi, ambu wanafanyo hii jambu. Na it is affecting katika maisha yao, gini wanakataa mashule, gini wanapokea mimba ya mapema, gini wanaolewa, it is for this reason that Compassion CBO started organizing workshops in schools, churches, and other public institutions to deject this culture. Siku hiya leo, tumekuja kwa lengo moja peke yake. Lengo ya kuangamiza ama kukataa, kukataana na hii mamba ya FGM. F inamanisha? That person has been mutilated. I'm fine in it. His hands ha his hand has been mutilated. Nikumanisha in the fanya nini? Ime katwa. So to kisema mamboya FGM, to na manisha female, mschana ama wanamke, genital, his her private parts or uh, that organ ime kwa mutilated. Ime fanya nini? Ime katwa. Zina communities ambazo zina practice FGM ni gani? Pokot? Meru. Kuria. Kuria. Tumesema luo huwa wanatoa? Neno. Ni reasons gani wanapeana? Iyo mpaka waleo wana justify akila zima msichana apitie through FGM. It is assumed that FGM reduces a woman's sexual desire.
or the practice, which is what we are doing. When we educate you, to tend to one be a graphic yako, isn't it? One be a little to make foundation for us. Despite FGM being illegal in Kenya, it is still active in areas like Samburu, Trukana, Kisi, and many others. Of the training girls, we are able to graduate them by cutting a ribbon, a ceremony, uh, which we do after every training, uh, so that we may replace the cut, which means now, instead of going through the cut to feel that they are hand or tuned, now cutting the red ribbon represents that. Because if we leave a vacuum, still they will feel that they have not matured, they have not become handled, they have not transitioned to handled. Tune. So we are using red ribbon campaign. Sasa, we are going graduate. You are from today, from today. You have graduated. You have graduated. And today, this is called red ribbon campaign, where we cut a ribbon to represent the FGM, meaning that you are not going to be cut, isn't it? Yes. Since we started, we have been able to rescue uh, more than uh, 600 girls here in Darakamidi uh, through the seminars we do. And uh, some of them have given success story that uh, they were prepared for FGM, but after graduating them, going back with certificate, their parents got scared and uh, they were not able to go and have GM. Me, when the FUSA FGM seems to go as Jana, Jeta HIV and Inas Brandwa, Katika Yos, Skian, ya FGM, and Face Sanguko as Jana was with when you want to put your mutation. Wasijaribu kujiingiza kwa hayo mambo. Hata kama wameingiza wanataka kuingiza na marafiki zao ama nini. Hata kama wametengwa sijaribu. Say no to FGM.